Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. Are you feeling really lonely in early recovery? Do you feel like that? Do you feel like that right now as you're watching this video? Because if you are, I just want to let you know that you are not alone. Feeling lonely in early recovery or even up to a year or two in recovery is pretty normal. I know it was for me. I used to walk down the street in a big crowd of people and get waves of loneliness. And I was around a lot of people. I would leave 12 step support groups. I would walk home from those groups at night and I'd start crying because I felt so alone. And this was early recovery stuff within the first 12 months. And now that I look back, there's good reasons why we should feel alone. There really is. It's not that great to feel alone. It'll probably bring on bouts of sadness or even depression when you feel extremely lonely. But there is reasons why you feel alone. For myself, one of the big reasons was when I gave up alcohol, I gave up a lot along with that. I gave up a huge chunk of my social life. My girlfriends I used to hang out with, my buddies I used to hang out with, the bars I used to go to, the barbecues. My whole life changed dramatically when it came to stopping alcohol. My whole social life did. So why wouldn't you or me feel lonely when 80% of our social life, 80% of life that we knew it is gone? And another one that happened, you gave up alcohol. Alcohol was a big friend to you and to me. We used alcohol for courage. We used alcohol when we were sad. We used alcohol when we were mad to soothe us, to medicate us. So we gave that up too. So why not feel lonely? Why shouldn't we feel lonely? Because they are huge losses to give up. They really are. And, and this is me talking now in retrospect, looking back when I was in that stage of recovery, I didn't think like this. I didn't think that the reason I feel so lonely is because of, uh, because of this. I thought I felt so lonely because I deserved it. Everybody abandoned me. And yes, they did too. They did that. You know, I wore out my stay with a lot of people. But basically, the loneliness came from my social life and the friends and the people as I knew it before I stopped drinking. I hope that makes sense to you. Another thing that made me feel really lonely was my emotional state. My emotional and psychological state at the time of early recovery. There was a lot going on. I had bad debt and I couldn't buy a car. I was unemployable. I had court charges against me. My kids didn't want anything to do with me. You know, there's a lot of things going on with me emotionally and mentally that kept me inside myself. And because of this, I would be separated. I got separated from my, my fellows, people, places, and things, because I, there was so much going on with me and I wasn't able to express it in early recovery. I wasn't able to. I was afraid to tell people what was going on. I was afraid to come up to somebody and spill my guts to them for lesser words that was going on with me in my daily recovery. I was afraid to do that. So I would keep everything inside. And because I kept everything inside, it would separate me. The day I started sharing in groups, in support groups, is the day the separation started to decrease. People would walk up to me after support groups and say, you know, Terry, I can really identify with your fear. Yeah, that happened to me one time, Terry. I got a DUI too. You know, people would talk like that to me and I didn't feel so alone or so different or so bad for the things I've done off when I was drinking, you know, out there in a, an alcoholic life. I did a lot of damage to a lot of people, places, and things, and I felt very bad for. I felt very bad. But once I started sharing it with other people, once I got into a therapy group, that was very, very helpful to start unloading all this garbage. I was able to let people into my life and the loneliness over time simply, simply, simply diminished. I got closer to people and I didn't feel so weird or feel like an outcast. You know, getting a mentor 
in a 12-step program is a very very great thing to do when you when you when you feel lonely you can find somebody you can talk to on a feeling basis you can share your views about the program share your views about life in a deep way that that you don't you're not going to do in a group but you can share your honest views and how you feel about things and what's going on in your life with somebody it'll help you with the loneliness it really will a lot of alcoholics when they come into programs we feel like we are an island we are different than everybody else. We feel our problems are greater than anyone in our rooms, but they're not. Most of us have not done the same things, but we've sort of, we have felt the same and we basically have got the same results from our behavior of, of drinking, our drinking behavior, okay? So I hope you find this video helpful. So the first thing is, is understand that you have given up a lot of your life not just the the drink you've given up the drink which is terrific but there's a whole life that came with that drinking career that alcoholism lifestyle there's a whole life that came with that so understand that is part of it another thing understand if you're like me you have a lot of difficulties going on in your life emotionally spiritually psychologically and keeping that inside only pulls us farther away from our fellows, from our friends, from people. The more we share with other people, the gap will close. It'll close, it'll close. It really will, okay? So practice that. Find somebody you can share your intimate thoughts with. Share in group what's going on. And don't be afraid. Let people know what is going on with you and you'll start feeling better. you start feeling like you belong and your social life will become big. You will have a huge social life. My social life, now I've been in the program a number of years, I got a big life. Like I have to turn down events sort of thing, turn down things to do with my buddies because it gets too busy at times and that's what your life will be like. And the feeling of loneliness will go away because you'll start enjoying your own company and a lot of the stuff that used to trouble you and make you feel different that made you feel lonely will go away. All this takes time, all this takes work, but it's not impossible. You can have a greater, better life than you've ever experienced drinking. You can have that in a sobriety life, in a sober life, you really can, okay? Believe it or not, I have a great life. It's not perfect, but it's great. I never thought it would be this wonderful being sober believe it or not. My name is Terry G. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you can, leave a comment below. And if you can, please subscribe to my group. I'd really, my, my channel, I'd really appreciate it. This is an alcohol-free life channel. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows. Take it one day at a time and I'll see you next time. Okay. Thanks for stopping by and bye for now.